there ladies and gentlemen, welcome to the Indie Digest. Today we're looking at dwarfs. I'm not really sure how you're supposed to say that. It's got an exclamation mark and a question mark at the end of it, as you'll see there. You're supposed to go hi, you're supposed to go shouty, I don't even know. Anyway, this is a fun sort of arcade dwarf digging game, I suppose. Frankly, it's easier to show it, but I will start by saying that this game has many modes. It has a skirmish thing full of bonus stuff, and a campaign with challenges and things, and a base defense, and I don't even know. But I've only ever played arcade, so I'm going to play arcade. I'm going to play on normal mode, and I'm going to play a 15 minute game. I'd play longer, but yeah, yeah there's other stuff I want to do. So. I'll just, I'll just do it myself. This is what we start with. This is the base. And these are the dwarves. This little one in blue is a, a sort of warrior dwarf. And these are minerals. They get money. It's up here. And money is used to make the dwarves do things like this. So I just spent 35 gold and I forced him to go in this line. And then there are various things you need to do. The more important things to spend money on are generally these ones down here, which are the walls that you can place down, and the solidify, which is where you can turn normal diggable brown earth into this sort of dark grey one here, which is undiggable. That's very important because the dwarves will dig regardless of if they're about to dig into, let's say, a big pile of lava. Apart from that, you can also put down bases and blow up holes for the lava to go into because it turns out uh, simple rock walls don't hold it forever. Anyway, I would spend a load of money making... I mean, here's the thing. You have to balance it. I could spend a load of money forcing the dwarves to like, dig right out here into all this valuable gold minerals and get into all of these caves, which could have really valuable loot in. Or I could save it so that when they dig into a place like this, if it happens to contain something dangerous, which it doesn't, I could potentially actually uh, fight it off. I can also spend money on hiring more warriors, which I'm going to do now, just to make sure I have them when I need them. And I will send a few of these out on patrol, so to do this you just put a simple arrow here, it'll send a few of them out, it'll break eventually, but in the meantime it'll send the dwarves on a bit of a, a, bit of a wander. How long have I got left? 13 minutes, and I've got 1500 score, not sure how well that is in the uh, in the grand scheme of the leaderboards, probably not very, but um, what am I going to do? So you find a warrior dwarf, always enough, always enough here for more digger dust, so this is where more of these dwarves come from. You don't necessarily want too many, because then things can get out of control, but at the same time the more you have, the more they dig, so, Ooh, water, water, no, 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 Ooh. okay. So the water here is now blocked with a wall. However, these dwarves are coming to dig into it, so we have to solidify it. Now this doesn't cost score, so I'm not too worried about doing it. It does cost a lot of money. I should have done it. Why didn't that do it? Oh, I don't remember why that didn't do it. I think it's because that wall can be dug, I need to replace it with a hole. As soon as I've got 50 gold, I'll replace it with some dynamite. I'll put some dynamite here, and then when somebody walks on it, it'll make a hole that the water will flow into. So if nobody else could dig into any dangerous areas for a few minutes, that would be very useful. Oh, there we go. 50. Uh, anybody ever tries to go dig that? Wall, they'll hit the dynamite and this will be forever safe. But that's an if, that might, they, they may never go for it. If they don't, I'll be happy because it means all my dwarfs will keep digging, but it's just nice to have that safety. Too many, too many um, uh, sort of fortress things I've lost because I just sort of stopped paying attention. Okay, that was safe. I mean, most of this game is actually just keep an eye on your dwarfs and see which ones are going for um, holes. Like this one. This one's heading towards a hole. This one might be. This one probably is. 
There's a few things to keep an eye on here. This one is remarkably untouched, so I'm not sure what's going on there. Oh, oh, this one, this one definitely. Let me get the wall ready. Oh, goblin dudes. No, run dwarf. Right, the warriors are coming. Oh, me dwarf. Oh, oh god, oh god, spiders. I think that egg crashed into spiders, that's not good. So I need to pay attention. Uh, the, these monsters will get eventually killed by all of these warriors, but I need to focus on other stuff. I'll maybe send a few more warriors out. It costs a lot of money to send them anywhere though, so it's a bit risky actually, you know, doing anything with them. Hmm. Okay, we're doing we're doing fine. All holes are safe for the time being. Take some double or sip and a drink. Hmm. Yeah, that, that one's completely safe, he's going off into nothing. And this one's definitely going into something. And if he hits this hole, this is going to cost an absolute fortune to seal up, so I'm not best pleased about that. Ooh, get reward for doing all those squares. Hmm. Might be time for an outpost. Put it down here, maybe. Spawn some more dwarves around here. Yeah, why not? I don't want to score, don't I? So that gets built. Make sure nobody's gonna dig into anything. He might very shortly. Now, the thing about outposts are they can train the warriors so they are better, and then they can fire them. To get them to places, so I'm gonna fire the full amount of dwarves, and then what I can do is fire them in this circle. So if any of these caves around here contain bad stuff, I can send some dwarves to go help. I'll probably end up doing, but not just yet, because there's nothing to send them into. I don't know if I can send them into a black cave, like one that isn't explored yet. I probably won't, because it's more likely it has water or lava than it has anything else, but. I remember if I definitely need a dynamite there. Hmm. What's that? A little puddle. Never mind, it's nothing. I don't think. Unless it's something. Excellent, some minerals. And also, that cave was actually safe as it turns out. I should have paid attention to that earlier. Hmm. But apparently, minerals are worth the most score. That's, that makes sense. Really, I should probably be sending the dwarves out like straight after the minerals, but yeah, that money might need it to seal up a cave. As you may have noticed, I'm a very conservative dwarves player. I suppose it's because I normally play on uh, infinite time mode, but for the sake of the video, I figured I may as well at least get a score to show you at the end. So, I mean, normally I just play for like half an hour and then I stop paying attention for three seconds and my entire thing gets flooded. All being covered like five water caves after another, I can't afford to seal them, and I'm just screwed anyway. By the way, by the way. Okay, any approaching caves? Oh, what's that one for? What's that one for? Cave trapping? Oh, yes, okay. So the hole went down, and so now this is com considered completely sealed, and that's why it's gone grey, to show that it's completely safe and nothing can go wrong with it. Ooh, might be about to go into something here. Okay, go down. I'll just turn you. Okay, just a bit of treasure, otherwise completely safe. Any other caves we can explore cheaply? Because that's the thing, if you just turn them, then they usually um, continue for at least a few more blocks. This guy might be going for one. That guy is, but not for a while. I don't exactly know the AI on this game. Some, I, 
there's some sort of randomness associated with it, but it seems like it's weighted towards go forward. With like a random chance to turn, I think. I'm not I'm not really certain. I'm not I am not certain. I never was good at analysing AI. I can tell by the fact that I never actually managed to uh, beat the StarCraft campaign. I never could get that whole thing figured out. Okay, here we go, here we go. Get no turn around you. Okay. Uh, ooh. Right, this is quite dangerous. Can I send the dwarves not all the way? I can send them that far. Maybe they'll figure their way from there. At very least, they will patrol this side. More minions. Oh, come on. Well, that's just bad luck. I should probably put another outpost up here. So I'm going to do that. About there, I think. I'm not sure he spawns minions. I think he does spawn minions. Yeah, this is about to spawn one, I think. Oi. Stop that. Stop that immediately. Oh, oh god, lava, lava. Where's the, lo where's the lava? There's the lava. Okay. What we have to do is send this dwarf, come on, keep walking, keep walking, keep walking, keep walking, keep walking, boom, okay, now let's seal it up as efficiently as possible, I don't need to waste money, I might need it to seal up ones in the future, there we go, completely safe, and that's just gold, that's all good, all the dwarves are attacking. I should have trained them probably, but that would cost money, so yeah. Oh look, the, the first town actually increases. That's all a visual thing, this, when you sort of dig out all these sort of areas, they start to expand it a little bit. I don't think it adds anything really. Maybe you get more dwarves, but I don't know. As far as I can tell, it doesn't do anything. Um, four minutes left. Okay. It's going quite well, I think. Probably it's getting to that point where I have to start panning around to see if anybody's about to do anything that's going to murder everything. Okay, anything up here? Nope, all enemies dealt with up here as well. There are minerals here I'd quite like to get. Hmm, no one in the vicinity though. Water, water, nope. No, I need those. Okay, so prepare for that to be sealed. Let me just go around and trace this up. Hmm. Most efficient way to do this is probably that. Yeah, there's no way in, but it still leaves these tiles to be dug if they really want to. Okay, they'll do, they'll do. Uh, anything else, anything else, anything else? So, I should probably spend the last three minutes talking about a few basic things about this game. So, the graphics, let's have a look. You know what? They're clean, they're good, they work. They're absolutely fine for the purposes. I haven't got a complaint about that. The sound? Hmm, quite pleasant music. There's a lot of little, like, ambient you know, mining and the money, it, it, it's all its all quite pleasant. It's nothing fancy, but it doesn't have to be, does it? I, I like it. Which just leaves the gameplay. Simplistic, but again, quite, quite, quite satisfying, I think. Just seeing this whole, like, network evolve, and, you know, event, if you do, like, an infinite game, and maybe, hold on, there's a way to go to graphics and put the zoom out level up which apparently uh, negatively does the performance but I think my computer can handle it oh actually that <laughs> oh, it's a bit jaggedy but the f oh, that's a bit odd the it looks like it's a bit jaggedy and sort of moving but the frame rate is still a, a good 30 
maybe perhaps he's slowing it down, it should be 60, I'm not sure. But anyway, seeing the money event. Seeing the original cave network evolve into something a bit, you know, bigger. That's something that I find quite satisfying. <sighs> Damn it, minerals, why'd you have to be on the side of the lava cave? Hold on. Oh no 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 no. I need I need a dwarf up here. I need a dwarf up here now. Um how do I get one over? How do I get one over? Uh you yes. Oh, hold on. You follow it. Oh get back in there, you with me here. Right, come on, run, 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 run please. A little faster, a little faster. Okay, screw it, just spend all the money. Go, 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 go. Run. Whew. Hey, secured. To get score four, and also that would have like spread and murdered me horribly, which is you know not optimal. It's also quite satisfying seeing the water sort of spread throughout the whole thing. You're screwed if it happens because you've no recourse, particularly if it gets into one of these wide areas that you've sort of mined out thoroughly. You just have to place like dynamite in a massive row to block it off, and and you can use walls, but the dwarves just dig through walls and it's like suicidal. Basically, it costs a lot of money, is what I'm getting at here. And money is an issue because it's like, you know, there's, there's no dwarves. Well, there are dwarves here, but if I recall them, I could like train them, but that costs money. But is it better to have a few highly trained ones that will survive than. Oh, oh, it's scoring up, it's scoring up. Be in for business, enter your name. Ding. Hip to be square. Getting all the achievements. Probably I've never done a time run before. Okay, we've got a score. Let's check the high scores for normal 15 minute games. Oh, on top. Hold on, that's global. I am 13,000 in the world. Yeah, okay, that's actually nothing to celebrate about. But, um, right, let's, uh, let's call it there. So, as you can see, there's other, there are other things. Not really sure what uh, the sandboxes and. Um, oh, constant dwarfs, but you can only let 200 of them die. Undiscovered caves are hidden. Oh, so you don't know where the caves are. Interesting. And what's the difference between endless and sandbox? Oh, right. No, I think this is all I normally used to play. Axe throwing. Not really sure what that one is. There's a campaign that has like stuff in and uh, base defend and uh, there's things. There's lots of things. Trust me, th this game has a lot. It's very cheap usually goes on sale all the time find it on steam or other platforms might be available i don't know go look it up i think it's worth a shot thanks for watching and i'll see you next time